Welcome back. We just shot a video about selecting deer belly hair and Jeremy asked me what about selecting bucktail. And so we decided to do, the, do one on that too. We get, we get questions about bucktails every now and then. Mostly it's always about length, you know, how much hair is in it. But uh, we, get, we get questions every now and then about bucktail. For those of you who don't know, bucktail is a Back in the day, there were two types of streamers. Basically, you're going way back, and you had bucktails and streamers, and streamers were generally with feathers, and bucktails were bucktails. And so, and it, the bucktail's kind of a lost thing. I, I still fish the hell out of these things. I love them. This would be a little one, this little stack blonde. And then, you know, these are kind of bigger versions nowadays of the Great Lakes Deceivers, Pat Cohen's fly. Uh, mine are kind of in between. I, minor, I, I fish a lot of this stack blonde style. It's about this long. So simple fly. If you want to make multiple colors, great. I do a ton of mine, just straight up one color. I do chartreuse, yellow, white, black, uh, cream. And basically it's just a fly that's that long. Super light, su super easy to tie and fun. But I want to show you how to get the right hair uh, because we do get questions on it. And, and a lot of the questions I get are, how do you judge one, you know, as far as like, that's random. It's, it's just like the deer belly hair, or any hair, it's a byproduct. It's just, we, we get them from the processors where you, where people take their game to get uh, processed and then, you know, you harvest the tails and the hides. And so they're just, it's random and they're, they're all over the place. You don't know where they're coming from. And so, uh, what I was talking about with the colors when I was talking about the deer belly hair is that, that you have to dye over white to get these really bright colors. You have to have this super bright white hair to get the color that really pops. The good news about bucktail is they all are white. So they are all have this white spot. And so you get this just plethora of color. I mean, I just grabbed a handful of them, right? Because uh, there's just every color sings with these things. You can get shades. You want a super bright color. You can get a super bright color. I don't know how many, we carry probably, I don't know, 25 different colors, 20 colors of bucktails. And it's, it's so that's, that part's pretty simple. And then I just, I kind of want to go over just what makes bucktail bucktail and a couple things to look for when you're looking for, you know, quality bucktail. And, and if, and again, and I harp this a lot in the videos because we, we, we hand select for anybody. If you, if you put an order in and you're looking for something, ask, say, you know, anybody you deal with, tell them what you're looking for, because it's not, this is where things really change. It's just the quality of the hair. So first and foremost, I'm going to go through just some real basics about bucktails. They're always, there's, I've never seen anybody work with a tanned bucktail. They're always rawhide. So that means this has just been you, they split this open, took the bone out, cleaned it, salted it, and there it is. That's all you get. That's called rawhide, right? And they frequently will have, I mean, they'll have a little piece. You just, when you look at it, I'm looking for one that maybe, so here, this one's nice and clean. You know, you can feel it's nice and clean. There's no junk on it. This yellow one's got a little tiny bit of fat left right here. If I bought that, I'd scrape it off. It's no big deal. It's not... The next thing you do, take a whiff. Make sure the things don't stink. If they stink, don't buy it. It's, I mean, it's just that simple. It should be hard. You know, you can hear that. That's rawhide. That's really tight. And this stuff here. If it's got a little tiny bit of fat left in it, it's not going to do much. But it's just something to look for. It's just, it's just quality of what you're, if you have the ability to touch it and feel it, right? So the next thing, and, then, and the first thing I look for is this. I like them to be flat. And this is frequently what happens is this is rawhide. As it's drying, it curls. It didn't flatten this out. And so as, that, as it curls, it starts getting these little cowlicks. It really doesn't hurt much. The hair stays pretty clean. But if I can get, this is possibly one of the best tails I've ever seen in my life. This is a tan one. Uh, don't try to buy it because I've already stole it. <laughs> this thing is incredible. Nice and flat, no curves to the hair. It's not really that big of a deal. It's just when you're, when you're judging it, you're judging it, right? Nice and flat here, a little tiny bit of, of fat right there. You can take that off. Doesn't smell. I mean, take a whiff. It should smell like it's been, you know, dye more than anything. This one's got a little bit in here. You're just, it's just, it's not a big deal. 
It's, you don't want to see a really curve to it though, because that can that can change the shape of your hair right where you want to work with it. So the second thing, so the first thing is just the continuity. Is it clean? Is it right there? The second thing I start looking for is the quality of the hair. And so, because I don't want, if it, it should be the first thing I suppose, but if it stinks and it's not been treated well, it's not going to last, I don't want it. So the next thing I look for is the quality of the hair. Every one of these deer is a different age. Every one of these, you know, different area could have, this one could have come from Alabama, this one could be from Maine, this one could be from Montana, this one could be from Michigan, I don't know. And you know, either is anybody else. They just get these things and they do it. And so they start looking, it, when you start looking at it, it's the length of the hair is usually the age of the deer, you know, and, and when it was harvested. So if you've got an early season deer, the tails tend to be a little more on age and a little less on the time of the year, because it's usually pretty long. But this is probably a young deer, the hair's pretty short right here and the second thing i look for and i'm looking for the color of the hair and the and the and the types of hair is i always turn them around and look at the back side because i want to see if it's got any darker colored hair like this here right i like to work if you do a lot of clousers you're probably already hip to this but i like to use this back hair when i'm two-tone in that stuff when i've got a two-tone fly like that i like to use the same stuff the dye seldom picks up hardly anything on the dark colors. If you've got one that's got black in it, I don't think any of these, well, this one's natural, but this, when you get up into the darker, the tip hair right here, that does, it won't pick up any of it. But on the, on the lighter colored hair, a lot of times you'll see this just really faint. See how that tip hair is just faintly the same color, the pink, it's not as pink, but it just picks up a, a, shad, a shade of the stuff, right? Not a lot. That makes a really sexy two-tone when you're doing it. Especially when you do it, they used to call them tricolor bucktails back in the day. And, and people would do multiple colors of these things. They're really fishy. They, they catch a hell out of fish. But I like to use this hair in here to use those tones because I go pink, what other that color is, you know, whatever it was be. And this one, like I said earlier, this one's perfect. You look at this hair, it's almost as long as that hair on the side. So when I, if I want a two-tone, this is nature two-toning for me perfectly. I don't have to guess, it's just beautiful. So I look for that too, and then I just look at the overall quality of the hair. And so you can see on this one, if it has a fault at all, at the very tip of this, it's got a little bit of spin to it. That right there, that little twist, you could work through that, but you know, it's just when you're looking. So as far as the hair goes, you know, I look for the overall length. This is a short piece of hair. This isn't going to tie a big blonde very well. Tie a smaller bucktail, anything in that, you know, even a small, small fly like that, maybe two inches long, but you're going to run out here. And then the next thing that I look for, other than the length, is the shape of the hair, how the hair sits. And that Jeremy and I were talking about that earlier, is about what kind of the hair. And I'm going to try to show you here on this yellow piece, because this one's straighter. Is that, where's that? best to see Jeremy right in there. Maybe right there yep. All right, you can see this hair it's nice and straight it has very little kink to the hair and and, and again this is personal however however you like to tie for this is straight up bucktail right and so that's really nice and straight relatively thin now I'm going to take this hair and you'll see about the same amount and it's oh, come back here it's a you can see it's a little it's got a little kink to it I like that. I like that little bit of kink to the hair. I can use it. It builds bulk without having any more hair. And so the lighter I can make the fly, the better. The more it swims, the less hair I've got, and it's still getting a big profile like it. And the long and short of it, it wouldn't make that big a deal. It's just when you're trying when you're trying to select the kind of hair you like. And on that, when you see that hair, it's got a little bit of kink to it. What you're going to realize is that down towards the base, it's more hollow. This yellow hair here that's straighter and kind of straight line, it, it's, it's nice and straight for making clean wing. It doesn't have much kink to it, which the kink is that hollowness. It, it's just like I've got lots of videos on selecting deer hair, it's the same thing. With this one, when you're down here, if you're doing like hollow points, things where you're going to spray the, like a Popovic, Popovic style hair where you're going to use that as a kind of a bulk in there, this stuff is a lot better to work with. It flares up for you really nicely. It creates that hollow effect of the fly. It's just a little bit easier to work with. But for the most part, we're talking about straight up bucktail. 
and that's just looking for nice clean hair nice nice straight long hair you can always work with the tips of this to make it shorter you can't make the short hair longer so it's you know i tend to look for this really nice clean long hair with that beautiful two-tone and just look and, and then it's just the amount of the amount that's on it i mean this is a that's a superstar that's like really going to be somebody and you can see this is a this is a nice short one but not as much hair you know get what you're paying for and so that's about all there is to it really because you're going to because of the fact that it's all dyed over white every piece in here is going to have the perfect shade and it's endless i don't know how many colors they make in this stuff i i i think we 2025 we stock and it's probably half of them i don't know but that's bucktail uh not a lot to it i hope it helps you out hope you enjoyed it